Statistics is a branch of mathematics that helps us make sense of data. It can be divided into two main types, inferential statistics and descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics summarize and organize data so that we can easily understand patterns and trends. Inferential statistics go a step further by using data from a sample to make predictions or generalizations about a larger population. Both types of statistics are important in research, business, healthcare, and many other fields, but they serve different purposes. Understanding the difference between them helps us know when and how to use each method effectively. Inferential statistics are used to make predictions or draw conclusions about a larger population based on data collected from a smaller sample. Since it is usually impossible to collect data from an entire population, researchers use inferential statistics to estimate what is likely true for the whole group. This type of analysis relies on probability theory, confidence intervals, and hypothesis testing to determine how likely it is that the results from a sample apply to the entire population. However, because inferential statistics deal with probabilities, there is always a chance of error in the conclusions. A common example of inferential statistics is political polling. Instead of asking every person in a country how they plan to vote, researchers survey a small group of people and use inferential statistics to estimate how the entire population is likely to vote. By analysing the responses, they can predict election results with a certain level of confidence. Another example is medical research, where scientists test a new drug on a sample of patients and use inferential statistics to determine whether the drug is likely to work for the general population. These predictions are useful, but they always come with a margin of error because they are based on samples rather than full populations. Descriptive statistics summarise and organise data to make it easier to understand. Unlike inferential statistics, which focus on making predictions, descriptive statistics only describe what has already been observed. This can include measures such as the mean average, median middle value, and mode most common value, which help show the central tendency of data. Other descriptive statistics like range and standard deviation help show the spread of data. Graphs, tables, and charts are often used in descriptive statistics to present data visually. These methods help people quickly see patterns and trends without making predictions about what might happen in the future. One example of descriptive statistics is a teacher calculating the average test score for a class. By finding the mean, median, and range of the scores, the teacher can see how well students performed overall. Another example is a business analysing monthly sales data. If a company sees that its sales were highest in December and lowest in July, this descriptive analysis helps them understand seasonal trends. Unlike inferential statistics, these methods do not predict future sales or explain why trends occur. They simply organise and summarise past data.